Now, about eight years ago, Sydney gardener Nathan Stafford started filming his garden cleanup jobs and sharing them on social media. From humble beginnings, he seems to have cracked the algorithm with his backyard tidying and ASMR videos skyrocketing his follower base to more than 5 million across Facebook, Instagram and TikTok combined. Well, as well as his sensory satisfying content, uh, he also films videos of taming unruly gardens for those who are unable to manage their gardens for free. And it's this particular video that we're about to show you that's got the attention of the New South Wales State Government. This is a Housing Commission property in my local area. There's actually someone that lives in here. He's my age. So I've come in here, I've spoken to him, and I've told him I'm coming in here, I'm getting my hands dirty, I don't really care, and I'm going to clean this bit up because you can't live this way. This is, this mate, this is not right. My question here is, is this has been going on for a few years. The neighbours live wall to wall. Why is Housing Commission not stepped in? I'm calling out the, the Minister of Housing here and I'm asking she can come and meet me, roll up her sleeves and get her hands dirty and chat with me while we're doing this because I've got a lot to talk about. This is not right. All right, that's Nathan Stafford and we are pleased to say that he joins us now in the studio. Welcome. Thanks very much for having so, me. You've put this call out to the New South Wales Housing Minister to meet you and to see what you see. She's responded to those calls and you've got a meeting set up with her. What do you want to say? Yeah, so firstly to uh, Rose Jackson's credit, mm. um, she has got in touch with me, which, you know, she has a very big job at hand here. Um, I think from when you look at my videos, um, uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Changes needs to be made. Uh, it's a big task ahead. Um, but I think we need, in my opinion, to go back to the basics and start looking at the systems that are set up and what needs to change uh, to help people like what you just saw. Mm. And, and you deal with a lot of these people. I mean, you, let's just say that you actually help the people who are disadvantaged, people on the side, on the fringe of society as well. What are they saying to you that needs to be changed? Mm. Yeah, uh, one of the most common questions, uh, uh, answers that I get is uh, for people say in housing commission is if they have a problem in their home, they're waiting forever to get it fixed. Mm. Uh, and it's something as simple as changing a light bulb uh, mm. for the people that are elderly and whatnot. Uh, and also just, uh, they can't manage, like what I do, their lawns, they don't have the money, they, they can't manage it. Mm. Uh, it's, it's just very sad. Mm. And it's hard, I guess, when people don't have an advocate um, on their behalf. And as you say, it can take a long time to get this help. When you turn up to their house, sometimes they know you're coming, sometimes I believe they don't. What's the reaction that you get? Yeah, so when I spontaneously, just if I get in my van, I go have a look around and I see a house and I can see they need some help here and I knock on their door, um, the reaction can be mixed. Uh, there's a lot of, which I have to always remember that there can be a lot of shame uh, and embarrassment there and that's why I always try to let them know up front, hey, I get, this side of the life where I've come from, you know, um, and on the other hand, I, I get people that are so thankful um, because they can't do it. Mm -hmm. It seems to me, uh, Nathan, is that kindness is the basic thing here. But, but people just want kindness and compassion. Is that it? And, and therefore they're thankful that you have turned up and shown some kindness to them. A hundred percent. You know, when when you start getting into this kind of thing it is it, it's all about um these people just want to be treated equally um and then that's how i sort of look at them we're all the same mm. um doesn't matter how much money you got or, or how big your house is we're all humans and um you know you show them a little bit of compassion and they're actually really nice people that mm. just got sad stories mm. Mm. And you're right, it's great that you do the work that you do, but it shouldn't have to come to that, yeah. that people like you turn up and he to help. It should be part of the system that they don't get lost yeah. in this sort of a way. I'm wondering what drives you to do what you do? Yeah, so I guess through having my own business, uh, doing this for years, uh, and then sort of uploading videos to social media and etc. I, I enjoy, um, I enjoy the, the reaction of the people, what goes on off camera, mm. um, you know, how they tell me a bit about their life 
and you know just how grateful they are for doing this and I can't change the world but um, if you can do something good for mm. someone it's a good thing I reckon. Mm. You, um, your videos have just skyrocketed and I have to say I can't stop watching them because there's a sense <laughs> of satisfaction here because yes. one I'm a neat freak and so I love tidying <laughs> videos, videos that show people tidying things up and cleaning things up and everything. Uh, what is the reaction on social media that you get to your videos? Yeah, it's, it's mixed. Um, mm. Most of it is positive, which is yeah. good. Um, but you get, you get, as I said, it's social media. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be prepared when you're on there, you're going to be getting everything. Um, but as I said, most of it is, uh, I get a lot of people that tell me what I need to be doing more <laughs> and, and whatnot. Uh, but that's all good. I take it on board because I'm happy to do all that, you know, um, but most of it's positive. Mm. Yeah. Great. Nathan, it's lovely having you in the studio and congratulations yes. on getting the housing uh, minister, New South Wales housing minister uh, on board as well. We look forward to seeing that video as well. To see mm. You're going you're gonna to show her around basically and show her what's happening on the ground. Mm. Yeah, so it's the end of next uh, month. She's coming out with me and we're going to spend about two hours uh, in two different places, have a little quick walk around and just going to have a little chat and I'll make a video of that. So mm. fantastic. Hopefully something might change. Yeah.